Hey everyone, Sarah Jean here. Um, today I wanted to do a video showing you all of the different types of pins I own and use. Um, my dear friend Amy did one of these what's in my pin bag videos and so I thought I would do the same although as you can see I will be comparing many different types of pins and that they certainly do not all fit in a pin bag. So let me go ahead and try to gently as possible so as to not make you all nauseous put this in my little camera holder. Okay so um, I love pins if you hadn't noticed. Um, I did one previous pin video that was showing the difference between the Stettlers and the Stabilos so I'll do a little one of those as well and I was going to use all the pins and a Midori insert so all of my Traveler's Notebook friends can get a good idea of how they work on the paper. But I love pins, especially pins that come in rainbow covers, and I am one of those dorks that goes on YouTube and watches pen review videos and gets sucked in. Um, this looks like a lot of pins, but I will say that I have been, ooh, I just did like a Carrie Harling finger thing. Hi Carrie, if you're watching this. Um, I will say that I've been collecting these pins over quite a few years. This isn't just something I went out and all bought today or anything. It's been a loving project. So let's get started. Let me find a blank page just so I can sort of show you the ink differences as well. Some of these are very similar and I love them all for different reasons. I love fine writers. I love thick writers. I love thin writers. I love inky pens. I love ballpoints. I love markers. Ooh, that was those inexpensive um, watercolors I found at Target if anyone was interested. That's how they look. They don't mix very well. Um, they're a little chalky but for two dollars it was fun to put a splash of color on the page. So I'll we'll just flip to Maybe the back page in my journal. Um, so I think that I will go ahead and start with the ballpoint pens. I have quite a few. Uh, my favorite brands tend to be Paper Mate Ink Joy. Um, I just discovered the Bic Crystal, which I really like. Let's see. The Zebra Sarasa. I'll just start. Let's just, okay. So one of my first favorites are the Paper Mate Ink Joy. Um, I really love all of the paper mate pens, especially the inkjoy though. These are one point, these are one point zero millimeter, and once again, I love these because they come in a rainbow of colors. And for me, I really, really like that. Not only do I use different colors in my planning, but I do a lot of journaling where I like bright, fun, happy colors. And these just write really well. They are a ballpoint, but they write very smoothly. And um, they're skipping a little bit in the beginning, but that's just because I haven't used these pens in quite some time. But they write very smoothly. They're lightweight. They're very comfortable in the hand. Um, let's show even the lightest colors. I like because you can still see them. It gives you an idea. Now I just recently got the Bic Crystal. These are 1.6 so they're a little bit thicker but they also come in a fairly good rainbow assortment of colors. Um, I saw one of the documented life ladies I believe using these and what she liked about them is not only were they bright colors um, but like the ink joys, even the lighter colors you can read. And what she really liked is these were really inexpensive. I got a 15 pack of these at Target for like $3.50. So she liked them because you got like two of every color in the pack and if you were out and about and someone said, oh I love that pen, you could just hand it over because it, it was a really inexpensive pen. Let's show you how these write. This is the Bic. And it's crystal with an I. And I just got these in the um, office section at Target which is a dangerous section for me. These write very, very smooth as well. Um, I love, love, love the coloring. I kind of feel like you can even get a little bit of different tones if you scribble. They can go a little bit to darker to lighter. Um, but they're nice thick. You can tell that they're a little bit thicker. That extra, what, 0.6 millimeters kind of makes a difference. But I especially love pins that come in multiple hues. If you can give me two greens and two different pinks and two different reds, that even makes me that much happier. So let me show you those a little bit. You can tell that they're definitely a little bit thicker. 
Hopefully this is focusing okay. I'm trying to make sure it is. Um, and then as for my other ball points, let's see, what other ball points do I have? Those may be my two only ball point sets. Um, I love ball point, but I tend to use the sort of inky, more fine tip pens um, a little bit more often. So I believe, oh no, we've got one more. I think these are ball points. Oh yes, I have another version of the Ink Joys. So the, you know, the first ones I showed you were Ink Joys. These are Ink Joys as well. Um, and they're the same 100 mil or one millimeter. Um, I think the only difference probably in these is that they're a click instead of a cap. I don't think the colors are any different. But let me scribble real quick for a comparison. Yeah, I think these are the same. They just were a different pack, had different caps, but it looks like they write exactly the same. So not much difference there. Okay, so next we'll go to the sort of fine pointed inky pens that I love. Um, I'll start with some that are really, really popular in the crafty YouTube journaling sphere. These of course are Colettos. Um, I have Colettos and then I also have, oh God, what are these called? Oh no, I'm gonna forget what they're called. The, um, oh, the Style Fit, the Unistyle Fit. Sorry, there we go. And I've had the Clotus for quite some time. I got a whole bunch in a trade with someone, which is really cool. And then I just got these, the Unifit Style, recently. Um, they're very similar. I would say the only main difference, let me just pick two of them, is with the um, Coletto, the tops where the colors are. You can actually see what the colors are. And when if the Unistyle Fit, they're all a single color. Um, build wise, I feel like the Unistyle Fit are a little bit sturdier. These are a bit sturdier than these little flimsy ones and they load differently where the Colettos, um, the whole entire ink goes in from the top and gets pushed down. These are a little different. You actually open the barrel from the bottom and the ink gets loaded up into the barrel. So the only a little thing that's annoying about the Unistyle Fit is it does feel sturdier, but you have to look down here on line up to see which color you're getting, which obviously isn't difficult, but it is a little simpler to just look up here and push the color. So that's the only main difference. These are both the 0.5 um, ink inserts, and there is a difference between the 0.5s on these two pens. The tips are just shaped a little differently, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but I will write and show you that they're a little different. I feel like the Coletto ones, and they're the same brand, the Coletto ones write a little bit thicker even though they are the same as these ones. Let's see if I have a red. No, I don't. Oh, maybe I do. Do I have a red so I can show the same color? Yeah, I do. So you can see they're both the fives. But the top one, which is the Coletto, definitely writes a little bit of a broader line than the bottom. Um, and I think that's just because the tips are shaped a little bit differently. Uh, both options are wonderful though, especially if you don't want to carry 800 pens like I have in front of me. It's nice to be able to carry four or five in the same barrel. Very, very, very handy. I'm going to try to not this, make this video eight hours long, so I'm going to move along kind of quickly. Or I'm going to try to. Um, these are my other favorite pens. These are the High Tech Micas. They are um, a point 0.4. I've discovered, I don't know, I go back and forth between if I like broader or finer tipped. But these are very, very pretty, pretty colors. They also come in a rainbow. They are very fine tipped, so you do get a little bit of a scratch against that paper, but it's not an uncomfortable scratch. The colors are really nicely saturated, which I love. They also come in browns. I love it when a pin collection has browns because not enough pins come with browns. And so these are wonderful pins. I got these um, I think on Amazon. If you can see. They're very fine tip but they're very nice. The colors are nice and saturated which I love. Another favorite um, that's been pretty popular is the Pilot Juice. These are great. I love these. They're also a point Four, I believe. Oh, 0.38. It's a little bit smaller than a 0.4. Not much. And let's go to another page. One of the main differences in these is that they have this cool clippy, which is nice. It's spring-loaded, so you can clip it on things. 
These are really nice, fun colors. They definitely live up to the name Juicy, though, because they are very sort of bright, faint, neon colors. And so I would say these aren't necessarily so good. A lot of the colors wouldn't be good for actual journaling. But if you were doodling with your journaling or wanting to color little areas of things in, these are great because the colors are very, very, very pretty. They're very nice. Just some of the lighter ones like the lime green and the tangerine orange, as you can see, don't show up quite as well. But they're very pretty. And then, let's see, I guess we're going to move on. Oh, well, we've got some old standbys. The Uniball. Love these. Um, I used to use these in school all the time. They're the fine tipped. These, of course, write really, really well. Can I do all three at once? No. They write nice and inky. They write very dark. These are great. I used to use these in school for um, note taking. What tip are these? They just say fine. They don't actually give a number. But look how nice and bright and dark those are compared to, say, like the juice pens. Love these. Great standby. Um, I also always love the Precision V5 pens. I've had several of these over the years as well. I think I got these on campus for school as well. They have the same sort of um, darkness in color, like even the pink stands out nice and bright. They just write a little bit thinner than the Uniball, but also great, bright, bright, vibrant colors. And then, let's see what else. Oh, so these I've always loved, the Pilot G2. Um, I've got, I think every color they make them in. Uh, these ones with the zigzag stripey barrels, I guess these are a Target exclusive. I got these in the office section actually just the other day. And then these are their standard five colors. They are a 0.7 barrel, so they're a little bit thick. But they've got some great color. They're a really good medium between, I would say, like the Juices and the Uniball or the Precise V5. Whereas even the light colors show up really nicely. You would definitely be able to journal in these, take school notes, and have them show up just lovely. Even the lime green has a really, really nice darker color to it, if you can see. So these are great pens for journaling as well. They write really smoothly and um, they feel a little bit weighted to me. I like that they're a little bit heavier feeling. Uh, if we move on to weird pens I have, these are the, um, uh, what are at you Spica markers? They're um, a marker but they have mica in them so that they have sort of a sparkle finish. Um, they're better than like a sparkle gel pen, I would say, because gel pens tend to be milky and sometimes they don't write very well and sometimes the barrels get clogged up. These are really, really fun. I don't know if I would actually necessarily journal in these. But these would be great for coloring things in. Let's see if you can see the sparkle at all. You see that sheen? I love them. They're super pretty and fun. I sort of use them sparingly. They weren't super expensive, but they weren't, you know, drugstore cheap. Um, old standby, of course. Ultra fine Sharpies. Uh, I just went through all of the pen cases in the house and just randomly found all these. I, I don't even know when I got all of these or how many different times I've bought in collections of Sharpies. But who doesn't love a Sharpie? Everyone loves Sharpies. Sharpies are great for everything. I know that you guys are all familiar with Sharpies. Um, I haven't used some of these in a long time, so I don't even know if they're all still inked up. Some of them are, God, some of these could be like eight, eight years old maybe. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know. But I don't think I need to go super in-depth with the Sharpies. Everyone loves Sharpies. Everyone knows Sharpies. Um, what is nice, though, is the Ultra Fine Sharpies have a little bit of ghosting, but I would say no more ghosting than the other pens I've used, if you can see. And just the quick scribble didn't have any bleed through. Um, obviously, if you're going to hold the Sharpie there longer, you are going to have some bleed through. I have, actually, I just have a few of the thicker ones. I believe my friend Othella sent me these, and these were like the 80s glam or something, maybe, Sharpies. They're the regular width. They're sort of in these light pastel -y colors. I don't know if these are the 80s glam or not. Something silly like that. And they're so cool. They're sort of Easter egg colors. And those as well. Let's see, the thicker ones already show through quite a bit. So if you're going to use these in like your Midori paper, I would suggest doing it on when you're going to put something else on the other side and it's not going to see it. 
Sorry, you're not going to see it. I can't even talk. Oh my gosh, this video is so long already. Um, let's see. And then, of course, we've got the Stettlers, the Stabulos. These are both um, fine liners. They're both thin. I absolutely love both. I would say the only difference is the tips are shaped a little bit differently, but I love them both because they come in rainbow colors. These don't really have much bleed through. If you want more details on these, I have another video that's just comparing these two. So go ahead and search for that. Let's see. Oh, and a new recent favorite is I just got these. These are the Paper Mate Liquid Flares. These are super great. Some of the light colors are really light, but they're a very wet marker. They sort of almost feel a little bit like a paint. Um, some of the colors are very light, so I usually tend to like doodle borders in them and such. Um, and they are wet, so they do smear. So you do have to be careful of that. Although it was nice as I drew a tree in these a while back ago, and I actually smeared it intentionally, which was neat. So these I really like. These are one of my new favorites. And then finally, gosh, have I gone through them all? Oh, old standby, my last one. The um, Paper Mate Flares. Love these, love these, love these. They're a felt tip marker. They come in, I think, like 16 different colors. And what's fantastic about them is, and I showed it in another video, so you'll have to go ahead and look it up, is if you get them wet, they activate like paint. And so these are really fun if you're on the go, if you have these and just one of those water brushes, if you wanted to do a bit of sort of pseudo water coloring in your journal, they work really, really good for that. Okay, I think that's all my pins. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Bye.